Hi everyone, this is Shane Armand Rowe, and today we're going to show you how to use the Commodore 64 Maxi Game Tool to merge two different game backups together, as well as how to empty the carousel and start from scratch. Let's start from scratch first. As you can see, I have a nice clean carousel here filled with my own custom games. All these games are ones that I added myself. I would like to start over from scratch. Now I could select each and every one of them and hit delete, but in my current build on my other machine, I have like 90 games in there, so you don't want to delete them that way. What you can do is, is you could create a whole nother copy of the Commodore 64 tool. So I could go into my software, I could grab this tool, I could copy it to my desktop. I'm going to do a copy as, so I can rename it. It's new. And then you can see I have a second copy, and I can run the C64 game tool from in here. Got to agree to the EULA. And now you can see I have a nice clean carousel. Now I could do it that way. The other way I could do it is to go to my original tool that has my all of my custom stuff on it, and simply rename the games folder to something other than games, like say old. And when I run the tool, I am now empty. If you want to prove that that works, now you see it made a new games folder, right? So delete that new one, rename your games old back to games, and run it again, and you'll see that everything is preserved. So you have a couple of different ways of doing it. For the purposes of this demo, we're just going to go ahead and rename that games folder to old, and we're going to start with a fresh carousel. So the import button will allow you to bring in different game backups. For example, you made a backup, hopefully, of the built-in games in your Commodore 64 Mini or Maxi when you did your first firmware flash. I could bring that in right now. It does give you a warning that will overwrite any existing data. We're gonna talk about that in just a minute. And I'm gonna grab my NAN backup, and it's gonna warn me about basic.tsg. That's okay, you can ignore that. We can always inject BASIC again the next time we make the firmware. There. Now, this should look very familiar to C64 Mini owners. These are the games that came built in on the C64 Mini. None of these are my games. Well, there's a couple of my games in here, but most of them are not my games. I can now do an import. Oh, wait a minute, before we do that, hang on a second. Let's go take a look at the Jumpman item. There's Jumpman. Now you can see it starts with survive all 30 game levels. The author is Randy Glover, the composer is Randy Glover, and it's a platform game. All right, this is important to note. So we're going to go ahead and do an import. And I'm going to import the last custom carousel backup that I have. Again, I'm going to be told basic.tsg, blah, 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 who cares, say yes. Aha, we now have a merge between my custom carousel and the Commodore 64 games that were included with it. As you can see, um, Dino Eggs is here. That's obviously not included. There's a handful of other games. Frogger, that was not part of the original C64 pack. And let's go take a look at that Jumpman entry, shall we? Oh, this is my version of Jumpman. Jumpman is a blah, 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 bomb disposal expert. My author is Epix, not Randy Glover. So as you can see by the merge process, whatever you're merging into the current carousel can overwrite what's already in the carousel. In my case, I was smart. I started with the built-in games, and then I merged over top of that my custom games. Because I made this one. I know that it works. I've got all the keys mapped. Everything is exactly the way I want it. So merging mine over top of somebody else's or the original games was the right thing to do. And then of course you could go ahead and make your firmware just like you always would. I'm gonna go ahead and say delete all the games as I always do and restore backup and go ahead and hit make. My custom firmware is now created. I can now save it to my USB drive and I can go ahead and flash it and I will have my games plus the original games. So there you have it. I showed you how to empty out your carousel and I showed you how to import uh, an existing game pack and then merge another one on top of that and you could do that as many times as you want until you fill up with games but again just be warned whatever you're importing on top of will overwrite whatever happens to be there in this case Jumpman got overwritten with my custom copy which is what I wanted 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to this channel. Hit that little bell down there so you get notifications the next time we make one of these awesome videos. And of course, join us at the C64Minizone.com for updates to this great software, uh, for uh, training manuals and tutorials, all sorts of other good stuff up there regarding the C64 Maxi Game Tool. Once again, I'm Shane R. Monroe, and thank you so much for watching.